Uh, my name is David Ragland, and uh, my doctorate is in philosophy of education, and I focus on the philosophy of uh, peace education. Recently, I've been looking at the actual concepts of negative and positive peace, and negative peace being the absence of war and positive peace being the presence of justice and elimination of structural violence. And some of the issues with that in, in my research is, is that um, negative peace and positive peace was meant more to be a metaphor of um, the complexity of the concept of peace. And so we were looking at the concept of stable peace by Kenneth uh, Boulding and um, sort of found out or thinking that peace is more of a process and a system as opposed to um, some condition which I don't think Bold, uh, I don't think Galtung necessarily meant but uh, we become stuck in that dualism of negative and positive and so uh, spent a lot of time um, thinking about that and saw that Betty Reardon had conceptualized or um, worked on that concept and of stable peace and suggested that the concept of foundational peace which is creating a foundation for a more organic peace which is evolving and taking account the human experience is actually more consistent with uh, an approach to justice um, that is uh, connected with human dignity. And we also found that, uh, or I found that um, negative and positive dualism or those conceptions of negative and positive peace might be connected to a social contract tradition, which is problematic. And so I'm kind of thinking about, you know, putting the question out there, should we be reconceptualizing our view of uh, peace? or the concept of peace uh, as foundational uh, and organic as opposed to, and a process as opposed to the way we view it as a condition